Hello guys, Cross here, Woof Woof, everyone wants to fix their CS2 to work the best, I found my way, so this is my launch options, you can see, minus Vulcan is to use, uh, to force CS2 to use Vulcan, and I also set these things up in uh, NVIDIA, and I will show you fast, so you go to manage 3D settings, program settings, and of course you need to add Counter-Strike 2, if you don't know how to do that, go add, and if you don't see CS2 here in selected programs, you need to go browse. So first you find where you install Steam and you go Steam apps and you go Common and Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And then you go Game and then you go Bin Windows 64 and you will find CS2.x. You go add this and then you can select it and you can change settings in NVIDIA. So this is simple, no NVIDIA profile editor or anything like that. And this is my following settings that I do. I change a low latency mode to ultra. Uh, I change open uh, GL GDI compatibility to prefer performance. Here I choose my graphic card. Then again, power management prefer maximum performance. Uh, this I put on on. Then I go quality high performance on on. Uh, vertical sync, of course, off. You don't need that. And at the end, Vulkan OpenGL present, I go native. I'll show you what that do. So you know on the streams when they alt up, the game stands in 9 FPS still moving. But here, if I alt up, my game freeze like CSGO. And that's what I did with that native and Vulkan and everything. So for me, the game is more stable before. Uh, sometimes it gets sluggish and you can note that 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 your mouse is going like through water and it's it's choppy it has like a little freezes something like that when i move my mouse and playing but uh then i needed to restart the game to fix it but now i don't need and i tested that yesterday like i i think i streamed almost 10 hours and i had no problem with these settings i want to show you my auto exec so i name it kera and config loaded to see in console you type like this echo and then of course i put cl show fps 4 you saw those numbers on uh, my cs2 it's all red but when i start the game it's green and it's less letters but it's much more visible than a red one and then I have jump throw. I bind it, but I bind it to alt. I, you will have my uh, out exec down in the description. Jump fix. I took this from Elish. Elish has a lot in his out exec, but I just use it because pros probably know something that we don't know, and they have people inspecting stuff for them, testing stuff for them, and giving them the best. That's what I think. And then I have stray fix also for. A, D, a w, and S. So this is movement fix. And I for me, it feels better now with those fixes where I move and strafe and everything. And settings, full screen, gamma 2.25. You can change whatever. You don't need to use this in your uh, auto exec. Safe zones 0 0.9. Again, I stole that from Elish. I really don't know what he's doing. But for me now, it's perfect. CL hood color, you can choose whatever. Engine low latency sleep after client tick one. That's something they said uh, should be used when you are using Vulkan. And for me, it's working really nice. And this last, again, I took it. I stole it from Elish. I really don't know what they do. If anyone knows, you can type in comments. But for me now, game works really good. Of course, we are still dying behind the wall and all that shit. But hope they will change that. For now, this is some settings. I fix for myself, I stream with this and you can do it the same and test for yourself because every configuration is different. You can use Vulkan on AMD also, so you can try and test it and tell me in the comments if this works for you. For the end, I just want to add a quick window optimization. It's literally five clicks and you can all do it. Just go click on start and just type power and you will find Windows PowerShell and of course I run it as administrator. It's really important to do that. And when you have Windows PowerShell open as administrator, you go and paste uh, the text I will put in the description. You go enter. If it prompts, just listen first. If it prompts that you need to install something like chocolate, you type yes and you install it. And then you will get this program. You go tweaks. And then you have up the up here you have desktop 
and it will click what is important to, to do for your PC. And of course, you can find here disable mouse acceleration and you can also disable and set display for performance or something like that. This will give you more performance because display on uh, display will remove some of the animations, not really necessary for our, us gamers. So you can do that. You can delete temporary files, but remember you can remove OneDrive or Microsoft Edge. You can all uh, you can select all that, but be careful what you are selecting because if you click desktop and disable mouse acceleration, that's all you need. And I will advise set display for performance. When you set everything up, click run tweaks and wait here on the blue side. You will see when it's finished. You just wait and then go updates. And in updates, you can go security recommended settings because every time you update fully Windows, it will remove these optimizations and you need to do them again. And these security settings that is recommended will only install security updates and your Windows will be safe. And that's all I do for Windows optimization. If this video helped you, leave a like, subscribe, help this channel grow and see ya in the next video. Stay care of it and always say woof woof.